Warmer conditions today than what we saw yesterday. Temperatures in the 60s out there. We even have 70 right now in Leesville. We have 65 and we have 62 to cool spot there and not just those temperatures in the 60s today yesterday we saw highs only in the upper 50s for the most part so you notice a little bit of upper level to mid-level cloud coverage that streamed in from the northwest but overall we saw those sunny to mostly sunny skies for today dry conditions with those relative humidities only in the 30s for this afternoon you notice high pressure center just to our east you notice a little bit of upper level clouds to our west that's out ahead of our main storm system we also notice some warming across the high plains as well and that's going to enter our area tomorrow in the form of a warm front so we are going to see temperatures and not just above average but well into the 70s for your thursday out ahead of the front this right here is the storm system that's going to bring us a rain and storms as we head into your uh, um, thursday afternoon could start as early as afternoon then lasting through your friday so we'll go ahead and take a look at the upper levels you notice that we do have a little bit of ridging for this afternoon that brought us the warmer conditions than what we saw yesterday and plenty of sun sunshine as well. That starts to push off to the east and you notice as we head into Friday, a trough digs out across the central portion of the country and that right there brings the cold front Friday morning and then we're going to see cooler temperatures behind that front with highs only in the 50s over the weekend with lows in the 30s, well into the 30s, maybe even closer to the freezing mark as we head into Monday morning, Sunday night into Monday morning. Then you notice a weak little disturbance moves through uh, Monday into Tuesday that will give us a slim rain chance early next week, but nothing too drastic. So as we head into your Thursday afternoon through the evening hours, threat level two out of five in the yellow shaded areas. That means that scattered severe storms are possible. And what I mean by scattered is imagine kind of putting some pepper on your food, just kind of scattered about there. Threat level one out of five for central and southeastern areas, isolated. And by isolated, I just mean like maybe a, po uh, a storm there, maybe a little storm there. That'd be about it. So just isolated in nature. And that is the severe storms, not the non-severe storms. Storms in general are going to be widespread. So that's basically what I mean by that. So as we head into your Friday morning, the activity starts to shift to our south and east. And so early Friday morning, threat level one out of five for our southeastern areas. Again, just an isolated severe storm possible in those areas for your Friday morning. So tonight we're going to see increased cloud coverage. Tonight into tomorrow morning, temperatures warmer than what we saw this morning with temperatures in the upper to mid 30s this morning. We're going to be starting off right around 50 for your Thursday increased cloud coverage, also temperatures in the mid to upper 70s there. Then you notice some activity. This right here is the first round out of uh, two rounds there for your Thursday afternoon to the evening hours or northwestern areas stand the best chance of that. This right here is a squall line that forms out to our west. That comes through as we head into your Thursday night, early Friday morning. You notice by 2 a.m. starting getting to the metro area, Jonesville, DeRitter, those areas, and then further for our southeastern areas, early Friday morning by about 4 to 5 o'clock. And then you notice some rainfall, non-severe um, storms there as we head into your Friday morning. Also, you'll notice that the temperatures, the highs are going to occur right around the morning hours and then those temperatures are falling throughout the day in the 40s, in fact, throughout much of the day for your Friday. So the damaging winds and also a flooding potential would be the two main threats. Also, a stray uh, hailstone or a tornado cannot be ruled out. So that's what we're looking at when it comes to the severe parameters. For Thursday up till 7 p.m., this only accounts up till 7 p.m., the uh, best rain chances toward northwest up to a 60, 30% for the metro and then down to a 10% further south that you go. And once again, that does not count Thursday night or Friday. So temperatures starting off right around 50, mid 60s by noon and that rain chance, even in the metro, only in the afternoon hours up to a 30% there at five o'clock. 100% as we head into your Friday morning, that 52 is the morning high. We're gonna be in the 40s throughout much of the afternoon hours. 50s as we head into the weekend, overnight lows, mid 30s there Saturday morning, close to freezing for your Sunday and Monday morning. Morning. First day of spring officially, though, starts Monday. You notice temperatures rebounding back into the 70s, though, by the middle portions of next week. All right. Thanks, Barrett. You're welcome.